Hello YouTube, Lee here, back again with another video. Today's video will be a response for the 100 subscriber giveaway for Nostalgic About Baseball. I'll put a link to his channel in the description below. You guys should really go check him out. He has really good content, good demeanor, really enjoy watching his videos, and I think you guys will too. But anyways, he wanted us to share our all-time batting lineups for our favorite teams, and as you know, and as you can tell by the cards in the background, my favorite team is the Cubs. So we'll just get into it. Leading off, we have Ryan Sandberg. He's going to be my second baseman. He had a career on base percentage of 344. He was the 1984 MVP with the Cubs. And he had a career total of 344 stolen bases. Uh, so that's a big reason why I have him leading off. He can get on base, set the table, make things happen on the base paths. Next up, we have Sweet Swing Billy Williams. He is my left fielder. He had over 400 career home runs, 2,711 hits, and he won the batting title in 1972 with the Cubs. Batting third, we have Ernie Banks. He is my shortstop. He was a two-time MVP and had career total of 512 home runs, and that's kind of what you want in the third spot, a guy that can rake. Next up, we have Sammy Sosa. He is my right fielder. He had over 600 home runs. He had three years with over 60-plus home runs. Yes, he was... A PED user but numbers are numbers and he's still a great player and he also won the 1998 MVP with the Cubs now this might be a surprise to many of you considering Mark Grace was a first baseman for the Cubs for a really long time but at first base I wanted a guy that could hit for power and that led me to Anthony Rizzo he currently has two gold gloves. He actually has a platinum glove as well. as well, And he has four years consecutively with the Cubs with 100 plus RBIs. So that's pretty impressive. And I think I'm at six now. Uh, my third baseman is Ron Santo. He had a career on base percentage of 362. Had 342 home runs. Unfortunately, Ron Santos' career was cut short because he was battling diabetes throughout all his career. He only played until the age of 34. Unfortunately, his last season with the, was with the White Sox, but he's always a Cub, always will be a Cub. He was actually a broadcaster for the, on the radio for the Cubs for the longest time before he passed away. And he's a Hall of Famer as well. Actually, the only non-Hall of Famer on my list is Rizzo. Uh, so this one I had to get a little creative with. My center fielder, Andre Dawson, he actually never played center field with the Cubs from what I can see, but he did play with the Expos, so I decided to move him to center field. Honestly, the Cubs really didn't have much, much options to choose from. So anyways, he was the 1987 MVP with the Cubs. He has 438 career home runs, and he spent six years at the Cubs organization. Then my catcher had to go all the way back to the 1930s. We have Gabby Hartnett. He had a career on base percentage of 370, and he was the 1935 MVP with the Cubs. Other options would have been Randy Hunley or Jody Davis. But I just felt Gabby Harden was the best option for my team. And last up, we have the pitcher, Greg Maddox, four Cy Youngs. He won his first with the Cubs, and he has 10 years total with the Cubs between two stints. Anyways, that is my team, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have not done so, please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.